जाएं आप सिक्सटी थ्री पढ़े ए पर्सन शेल नॉट बी शेल बी डिस्कालीफाइड फ्रॉम बींगन शेल बी डिस्कालीफाइड फ्रॉम बींग इलेक्टेड फ्रॉम बोथ आर हैपनिंग बिफोर द इलेक्शन इज टेकन प्लेस इलेक्टेड कोई बात दोनों चीजें एक है क्वालिफाइड है क्वालिफाइड है बट इज सिनोनिमस आई मीन इट मेक्स मतलब 63 का जो सेकंड तो फर्क क्या पड़ना है इस आर्गुमेंट से आपके हाउ विल इट सपोर्ट यू so because if i can establish if i can convince my lordships that they are two distinct section because of their cause there are two distinct sections but what will turn on it ye bataye na then we have to interpret 6211f only but wo hi usi bhi to aap ko le ja rahe hain do not have to interpret 6211f in view of 6311h चले सिक्सटी टू वन एफ को कर लेना फिर आप आपका आर्ग्यूमेंट ये है कि सिक्सटी टू एंड सिक्सटी थ्री थ्री आर डिस्टिंक्ट आर्टिकल्स एंड वी कैन नॉट इंटरचेंजेबली रीड देम टू गिव देम अ मीनिंग माई लॉ सो उनको सेपरेट पढ़ेंगे उनको सेपरेट वी वेंट स्टूड योर पॉइंट आगे बढ़े थोड़ा सा स्पीड कर ले फिर वी डोट वॉन्ट टू लीव दिस केस ऑन रिजॉल्व टेन टेन फिफ्टीन मॉर्निंग when i distinguish that they are two distinct then we have to read 621f on its own every word has to be given its meaning chale chale thoda jaldi kar le the mission is that when we uh, we will read 62 then as long as the declaration by a court of law is in field is in field disqualification will remain the so, court of law declaration is the supreme court itself ye point pe aa jaiye na supreme court itself cannot give in, in any other jurisdiction other than in its appellate jurisdiction ho gaya na election to do that ho gaya chalo acha theek hai fir samjho la below wala argument hai na ki once the declaration is there 621 f has to be read alone hmm. once the declaration stands disqualification stands my law and it goes on as long as it is qualification theek so Samuel. the question to you is that you have to look at the constitution in totality as a whole Do, does it not appear odd to you that for other crimes as as big as perhaps treason in g and others you can always come back and contest election it's not a lifetime situation but in for for a civil wrong which could be as small as committing a misdemeanor of misdeclaration or just lying through one mis some omitted one entry in a return the 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 punishment in a way is for life but if i were to go murder somebody if i would commit treason if i were to kidnap kidnapping i could come back and contest it आर्टिकल बासठ वन एफ के तहत नाहली केस से मुतल समात के दौरान चीफ जस्टिस ने रिमार्क्स दिए हैं कि ये केस आर्टिकल बासठ वन कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ की बात करता है वकील खुरम रजा ने कहा आप अपना केस चलाएं ये केस एक सौ चौरासी थ्री के तहत सुना जा रहा है a decree given remains in tax for all purposes aage badhe aage badhe next point no this this argument basically it lies in basically islamic principles if you look at ppc out of all those offenses there are very few offenses in which mens rea is dishonesty my submission is wherever mens rea is dishonesty we are talking about public office holder jo aapne you just very casually referred to islam either back it up because i completely disagree with you you have to back it up if that if your contention is agreed there were those who were violently opposed to islam and then they became khalifs khulfa rashidin to to like oh i nahi sakte the phir wapas this this just don't throw in islam just like that it, it is contrary to islamic injunctions तोबा का प्रिंसिपल है राय रास पे प्रिंसिपल वापस आने का प्रिंसिपल है मुस्तकीम शार मुस्तकीम पे वापस आने का प्रिंसिपल है 
शुरू में तो दो चार ही मुसलमान थे ऐसे let's stay on 621f if we look at 62 some of the disqualifications or qualifications are mentioned in the constitution itself like he has to be a citizen the age and all this is specifically provided 621f brings in a disqualification from a declaration from another court under some law not the constitution it is a declaration of disqualification under uh, of a declaration of a uh, contrary under some law and if the law parliament goes ahead and fixes that law and says any such declaration of that law has to be for 5 years that is actually not tampering with the constitution it is providing that de- that any declaration in 621f is arising out of a law not of the constitution because court of law ne karni hai na disqualification that disqualification is arising out of a law and the parliament goes ahead and says any disqualification under the law has to be for 5 years so then with that 5 years amendment brought in isn't the period being provided for 621f because fine the constitution itself doesn't give an unlimited period it is relying on a declaration coming out of a law and law has been corrected and given a period so there's a distinction had there been a constitutional provision disqualification like age being 25 then perhaps to my mind legislation could not do it through ordinary legislation constitutional amendment was required but in this case the declaration emanates from the law itself so law is being given a certain time frame is pe kuch proshni dal my lord it depends on the validity of the law that's why i uh, uh, try to argue that under what proceedings we are before my lordships i rely on pld 2012 supreme court 923 baz mohammad kakkar federation of pakistan it is the case where contempt of court act 2012 mere sara argument suna hua hai proposition bata dena please my proposition is through ordinary law parliament cannot amend the constitution no fair enough it has not amended the constitution that's what i'm trying to tell you add it in the constitution because how do i demonstrate whether whether, whether the court can amend the constitution court can interpret it interpret it in a manner to amend the constitution or to no read into the constitution no my lord so this is what we are asking from you whether the interpretation can be done ek ek dekhiye isme ek baat aap ye aap keh rahe hain 6621f में ये बताया गया है कि डेक्लेशन होने चाहिए कोर्ट से आपने कहा कि डेक्लेशन सिर्फ ट्राइब्यूनल दे सकता है ट्राइब्यूनल अंडर सेक्शन 157 वो ग्राउंड्स बताए गए ठीक क्या उन ग्राउंड्स में ये बात है कि ट्राइब्यूनल इस बात पे आपको डिस्कवालीफाई कर सकता है कि आप राइटियस नहीं हो आप सजेस्ट नहीं हो आप अमीन नहीं हो आप सादिक नहीं हो ऐसी डिक्लेशन आएगी तो वन सिक्सटी एफ इस्तेमाल होगा अदरवाइज नहीं होगा दैट्स वॉट आई एम सेम देट इन माई केस इन माई केस एफ एस डिग्री वॉज फोर्स बी ए डिग्री वॉज फोर्स ट्रायल के आप हमें डिक्लेरेशन कहाँ से आया है खुरम साहब एक एक चीज है बट देखिए स्पीकिंग फॉर माई सेल्फ दिस नो कन्फ्यूजन इन माई माइंड दैट Uh, to set aside a judgment the premises on which that judgment stands needs to be taken away so if the judgment stands on a law then there could be an amendment in the law and that foundation of that judgment on the which it stands is taken away and that judgment is nullified if the judgment stands on the constitution constitutional amendment is required to take care there is no as far as i am concerned no, 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 no i am saying in this particular case 6221f is not a disqualification the judgment does not stand on 6 to one of as such it stands on a declaration of by a court of law that declaration is not done through constitution that declaration
regulation must be of some based on some law. law. That law now provides a period of five years for such declarations. Hence, that premise, that declaration that's coming out of a law has been given a period. So, five years then plugs that problem. Election tribunal has to determine on the basis of qualification, disqualification given in Election Act as well as 62-63. Why I'm saying is they, I have also appended a parliamentary debate from Senate on the amendment. It's at page 28. They have admitted it's silent. Hmm. Once they have admitted it's silent, the it's only requirement what do you mean it is admitted is silent. What does this mean? I mean, in parliamentary debate, which we can look into to yeah, see. Why don't you look at the constitution itself?